Hello guys and welcome back to another video here today at the Startup Brain TV, the platform to help you boss up and create more wealth for yourself. So if you're new to my channel, then my channel is all about business, entrepreneurship and making money online or starting an online business. So if you're interested in all that type of content, then be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below and of course hit that bell notification button because that's the only way you will be notified each time I release a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top most important questions that you should ask any dropshipping supplier out there before you engage in business with them. And this doesn't only apply to dropshipping suppliers, but it also applies to wholesale vendors. You need to be sure about all of this before you use them to source your products. So if you're interested in finding out more, you better stay tuned and watch this video till the end. wholesale supplier or dropshipper can be pretty pretty difficult um, especially one that resonates 100% with your brand so in order to help you avoid certain doubts it's very very important to ask them a few important questions before you engage in any type of business with them now the first question to ask your dropshipper or your wholesale vendor of course is to find out if they offer a dropshipping service now do not assume that the supplier offers a dropshipping service because they've mentioned on their website that they are a dropshipper shipping vendor. I came across a business, um, a wholesale supplier one time that mentioned dropshipping within their platform. They talked about the fact that they offered a dropshipping service. I got in touch with them and they said they no longer offer a dropshipping service, which to me was a bit like, why do you still have that information on your website? Why has that information not been updated yet? So even if your supplier states on your website that they do offer a dropshipping service, it's always a good idea to double check that information with them. Send them an email and say, hey, I came across your website and I realized you offer dropshipping. I'm really, really keen on selling your products and I wanted to find out if you still offer a dropshipping service or you do indeed offer a dropshipping service. Send that information, have that peace of mind and be rest assured that they are indeed still a dropshipping supplier because a lot of um, companies out here fail to update their websites, they've got outdated information on their websites or they just have information that doesn't correlate with what they currently do, okay? So that's the first question, of course, it seems like common sense um, to double check with that vendor if they really do indeed to offer a dropshipping service, okay? Another very, very important question to ask your dropshipping supplier is, what countries or what part of the world they ship to. You need to know what sort of locations these vendors are currently shipping products to because you can then essentially translate that to your own website. So the last thing you want to do is, you know, have someone in the United States purchase a product that, that your dropshipper currently doesn't ship to the United States and then you're left with having to refund that um, customer and essentially losing out on a customer as well. So be sure to check on your check with your dropshipping supplier, double check what countries they ship to and most importantly, check how much the shipping rates are for each of these countries. Don't go by the prices on your website because they usually have estimated prices. Ask and find out if they have a list of the exact prices that they charge per product for the different countries and the different locations. You can then use that information to list that data on your website as well. So always find out what locations they ship to and how much it costs for them to ship to those locations as well. Another very, very important question to ask your potential supplier or dropshipping supplier is, is about your return policy. What return policies do they have in place if they have any at all? Because some suppliers out there do not actually have a return policy at all. Um, find out you know, how they deal with products that have arrived damaged or products that have never ever been received by your customers in the first place or the wrong products being sent out to the customer. Find out what their return policies are in more detail and how they deal with this issues okay and even better you can go a step further and purchase from them and see just how well they keep up to their promises you know get a friend to buy from them and ask for a return and see how they treat that customer it should give you a good idea on whether or not it's best to use them or not for your business so always try and test out don't just go by what they say every business wants to make money at the end of the day so they're gonna tell you what they want you to hear Go an extra mile and get someone that is not you to buy from them and see how well they keep up to their promises, okay? So find out about your return policies and make sure that that is also reflected on your website so your customers are clear on how the products will be dealt with in case they needed to return it, okay? 
Another good question to ask not just dropshipping suppliers but also wholesale vendors is to find out if they offer custom packaging or private labeling as well. This is a very very useful extra service that some wholesale vendors out there offer and it's really really going to make your business stand out even more if your dropshipping supplier can private label your orders with your own branding information so they can get your own flyers sent out within the packages, they can get your own labels basically sent out to your own customers. So this is a really really great way to build that brand reputation with your customers. So always find out from your suppliers if they do offer private labeling or custom labeling in the packages. They'll probably charge you obviously extra for that service but it's really really worth it at the end of the day. So that's another good question to ask your suppliers if they do offer custom packaging. Okay. Another good question to ask your dropshipping vendors is if they do charge a monthly fee. Now some dropshippers out there charge a monthly fee to cover for things such as private labeling your products, um, if they may be offering you a web design service as well. But if I came across any dropshipper that wasn't offering me anything extra but was asking me to pay a monthly fee, then to be honest, I will be skeptical about that. I'll probably not use them as a dropshipping supplier because they're probably not a dropshipping supplier at the end of the day because why do you have to charge me extra for me to basically sell your products for you? You know, because it's not going to change the fact that you still have to, you know, if a customer came to your website and bought your products, you will be sending out those products to your customer anyway. The only difference is I'm the one bringing you those customers. So unless a dropshipping supplier offers extra add-on services such as private labeling or they design your website for you or perhaps you host your website with them or they offer any sort of add-on services like training or anything extra from the actual dropshipping process, I would be very, very skeptical using them as a dropshipping supplier. Dropshipping suppliers should not be charging you a monthly charge or a monthly subscription membership to dropship with them. So if there's nothing sort of extra that that dropshipping vendor is offering you, I'll be very skeptical about doing business with them, okay? So always be clear, find out if they charge anything for their services and if they do, find out if that extra charge, what that extra charge really covers for, okay? If it's nothing out of the ordinary, I will stay clear of that dropshipping vendor. They should not be charging you anything extra. If they don't offer anything extra, Another question to ask a dropshipping vendor is to find out what payment processors they use. So it's really, really important to know what payments they accept. If your dropshipping vendor uses PayPal, then you need to make sure that you also have a PayPal account so when a customer buys from you, you can then easily transfer those funds to your supplier. If they're taking Stripe payments, then make sure you also have a Stripe account so you can easily send payments to your supplier. The last thing you want to do is use a dropshipping vendor who only accepts Western Union payments and then you're stuck with payment issues from your customers because now your customers will have to pay you. You will need to go find a Western Union branch to send out those funds to your supplier and it's just going to prolong the whole process. So make sure your supplier uses a very secure payment processor, not just any payment processor, a secured one. PayPal is an amazing one. Stripe is also great. These are very secured payment processors that you can use. You can dispute any um, transactions that, you know, uh, may be fraudulent. Say, for example, your supplier fails to send out a product to your customer. You can dispute those transactions and get your money back. So make sure that the payment processors they use are secure enough for you to use as well, okay? And again, that easily translates with your business. And of course, another question to ask your dropshipping vendor is if they have a shopping cart integration system that can easily update inventory um, back and forth. So if they have a good shopping cart integration that can link to your website, then it means each time they're sold out of inventory, it can automatically translate to your website without you having to deal with products being out of stock. So that's another great question to find out from them if they do have any sort of softwares or systems in place that can integrate their inventory with your own inventory on your website, okay? So these are my key important questions to ask your dropshipping suppliers. Um, of course, there's a lot more. And of course, at the end of the day, your dropshipping success is based on how well you run your business and how well you sell yourself in general. Again, if you want to get started with dropshipping, there's going to be a link below to a great course to get you started. There's to learn step-by-step step how to get started with dropshipping using strategies that I personally use myself to get started with my online store, Fashion, that I still currently use um, for dropshipping as well. I, I used to dropship some of my products but I also buy wholesale at the moment and if you're looking for dropshipping vendors to get started with or wholesale vendors there's going to be a link below where you can access over 120 plus wholesale and dropshipping vendors 
predominantly from the United States and the United Kingdom, Europe, Canada, and China as well. Then there's going to be a link below this video that you can click to access and download that wholesale and dropshippers vendor list, okay? I hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that bell notification button. And I look forward to catching up with you guys next week for another video. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!